20s, you're happy to fight and do all the kumite and go hard and do those things. But there has to come a point where there's a 21-year-old who's faster and got more desire than you. So there comes a point where your fighting skill becomes very limited. So what's left? And what's left is kata and kihon, so basics and patterns and developing the forms and developing the art of karate. So I think kumite and sparring is, is training self-defense. You go in for discipline, you go for fitness. Um, but I think as the years go by, your goals improve and they increase as people develop, as, as they develop their skill. They start to see more. As the more I see, the more I know I need to see. Or the, so it's that opportunity to develop yourself. And I think karate, kumite, sparring is, is all part of it, but it's important to see past it and see more. Mm. And there is more. I think for me as a child, I mean, I used to really enjoy competition. Mm. And my first competition was in judo, not karate. And uh, I can remember standing there, and I was so preoccupied with looking at how many people were there, and they actually said, hey, Jimmy, mm -hmm. the guys came out and me and threw me and I lost. Yeah. And I was still thinking, oh, yeah. you're just awesome. Yeah, you know, overwhelming. But the second time, I wasn't so... I just did a lot of school stuff at the time. Studio was well into schools at that particular point. In, in, in UK. But I think with the sparring, I think people do like to test their skills, but it's more the youngsters, mm -hmm. and I think as you get older, you're more into the philosophy of it. I think also Randori and some of the, the methods from Goji perspective allow you to spar within your capabilities and work with somebody rather than against somebody, mm -hmm. and learning that, that balance of yin and yang in Kumite, learning that, that opportunity, the ebb and flow. Once you do that, you can proceed without injury, you can proceed work to either participant, but still work very hard and work for very real self-defense goals. Um, and that's really valuable. Uh, but Choji Miyagi said that the secrets are in the kata. And um, I, I live my life by that. And I love that. I think, I mean, I've got to be honest, as a youngster, I didn't like kata. Yeah. As I got older, I actually enjoyed watching it, what you were doing. Um, it's more, I, I can't really explain why, but it sort of goes around in a circle, um, you know, for me, and I would imagine it's the same for yourself, I mean, um, we're not the youngest martial arts here, you know, and I, by the way, I commented on your age earlier with one of the others because they said something, and I don't know, well, you'll see that on YouTube, but <laughs> anyway, that, um, all in jest I might it's right. You look a lot younger because of the pain. Yeah, it's a must be that. Unlike me, who got cancer later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back really looking a younger. Um, but no, I, th I think that the kata and that aspect of it, it becomes more important as you get older nice. because you can feel yeah. the energies within your system and you feel the benefits of it. And I think one. Um, I build the chi. Yeah. Through kata. I think some people tend to over sensationalise on the chi. I've got to be honest, the best chi demonstration I see was in the States. Mm -hmm. uh, um, he, was, uh, he was Howard somebody. And he demonstrates it, he trains every day. He's, uh, chi gong. Chi chi gong. Thing. Yeah. And what he does is he gets a can of coke full or empty and he does a little strike and he, the coke's actually pierced and it's mm. on his finger. Wow. I wouldn't like that. I mean, he's got very thick fingers anyway, so mm. he has got natural abilities there. And I've tried it several times and hurt myself. Uh, I see another one done with a, a bottle, hitting the bottle at one end, shattering at the other end. But um, the most amazing one, which I haven't seen, which I've only heard about, was a guy called Silvio Simak. He was in China with Sam Ho Hung and mm -hmm. Jackie Chan, mm -hmm. and they had a convention for all the Chinese arts. And he's very sceptical of some of these things, as I am, because I'm a terrible sceptic. Unless, unless I see it, I've got to be honest, I'm not a great believer, so I need to see it to actually really get into it. And um, the guy said, you won't believe me, and she said, I won't put any effort into it. And Sylvia said, well, I want to see it. And uh, the guy said, okay, 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 and did it. And Sylvia was absolutely amazed. I mean, mm. Sylvia is, no, he's not, he's huge. He's a, he, he takes all the supplements as well as doing the weight training aspect, because he's obviously a movie star as well as a world champion. Mm. And... Um, There's more than we know. Oh, absolutely. We are, the, I mean, not without being cheesy, we're all more than the sum of our parts, really. Yeah. And yeah. I think with martial arts, you tend to recognise that. And chi is an explanation for um, the body's energy and the body's movement and the, the body's parts and, and all of those things put together. So I don't know it's, whether it necessarily needs to be esoteric for most people, but it can certainly, in, you know, by building 
by doing the exercises that build chi, you make yourself healthier. Absolutely. Another experience I had was a guy who come over here, he was from the States, a guy called James McNeil, and uh, I went up to see him, he was teaching for another group up in Harwich. And uh, my, my other half, my wife, she gets um, migraine, that's mm-hmm. back up front. And um, we were sort of, I was videoing and doing things for different things. And he said, what's the matter with the lady? Because she's in the corner like this. Mm-hmm. And I said, that's right, she's got a migraine, she's had tablets, and she can't get rid of it. He said, I'll get rid of it for her. And she had. And I thought, no, because if it doesn't go, she's, the, she's a person who'll go, well, that was a load of rubbish, mm-hmm. it? it hasn't gone at all, I've still got it. And I thought, here we go. Oh, and I was panicking that she was going to say something. Well, uh, in front of loads of people, he laid her down on the floor, knelt down, massaged her head, did this Qigong thing at the back, and let her doing these different things. And then he sat her up, and she went, it's gone. It's gone. And I'm thinking, Whew. Yeah, Because <laughs> she's like, yeah, yeah, gone. Yeah. She would have said something, you know. But uh, for me, obviously, doing something for the magazines at the time, uh, I was in an awkward position. I got to see myself coming right on the start with it. But no, there's definitely elements to it. And he, this guy also did things with the oxy combustion stuff. Okay. I don't uh, know much about that. 